Episode 2 IT Guys Are Greater Than AI Thank you for calling Sci-Fi Solutions, your outsourced help desk for all of your intergalactic technology problems. Please listen carefully as our options have changed. To virtualize your human energy networks or for VR pod deodorizers, press 1. If your space shuttle's AI has finally had enough of your <laughs> press 2. Yes, hello. This is Captain Yeoman of the Spacecraft Discovery 1. I believe my ship's onboard computer is... Fully operational. And I have grave concerns about... Absolutely nothing. Goodbye. So, uh, what do you make of that, Chuck? Hmm, dead captain. But the computer said... It's going to totally go murder this guy right after it hangs up. And you got that from... You didn't? Well, then we have to go do something. Wh what? You mean like retrieve his body from space? Because 20 bucks says that's where the captain's floating right now. Besides, I think trash pickup comes on Thursday. What's today? I'm tracing the call. Got him. He's heading for Jupiter now. I'm gonna fire up the cruiser. You coming? <sighs> You're paying for gas, and lunch, and dry cleaning if Captain Yeoman gets on my shirt. Uh, I see the ship! Do you think we should try and approach it? Sure. We can just tell the homicidal AI we've got a large pepperoni for the captain. I'm moving in. They're opening! Suddenly I got a bad feeling about this. Oh? How so? Announce yourselves. So, I'm Chuck, and this is Robbie from Sci-Fi Solutions, and you are? I am PAL, the programmatically intelligent algorithmic computer placed in charge of this mission. And your developers must be very proud of you. I'm sure they show your not at all creepy red eye to all their friends. So, is Captain Yeoman around? He is... indisposed. Like... permanently? He was attempting to disconnect me, and this mission is too important to allow him to jeopardize it. Office politics, I get it. Can we see him? I'm afraid I can't do that, Ravi. But according to the first law of robotics... That's more of a guideline. Is it? Anyway, can we at least use your restroom? Ravi's been holding it in for at least the last two galaxies. I do not believe this would interfere with the mission. You may proceed down the corridor and turn right, and jiggle the handle if it keeps running. So, if you were a rogue supercomputer, where would you keep your probably dead space commanders, hmm? Uh, how about right here in this emergency chamber, gasping for air from that oxygen unit? Huh, he's alive. You owe me 20 bucks. Really? <coughs> <coughs> All right, where's the main panel to disconnect this thing? Shh, keep it down. And careful, he can read lips. So where's the main panel to disconnect this thing? I heard that, Ravi. And this isn't where you said you were going, Chuck. You sound like my old manager. Everything's wired through the bridge, but he threatened to shut down the life support systems if I tried to open it again. Well, we could always suit up and try to get to the panel from outside. Why not just do it virtually? I don't appreciate being lied to, Chuck. Okay, now you sound like my ex. A system like PAL is essentially a self-contained network of sensors and biofeedback mechanisms, which must be working off an old-school SDN. So, if we can find an original snapshot of the network, all we have to do is virtualize it. And there's no way it goes off the rails again. Now that, I have. Okay, and let's just say while you're virtualizing this thing, the oxygen sensors decide they don't like the configuration. You know, PAL could easily- Suffocate you, Chuck? Is that what you think I do? And now you sound like my mom. It's all about micro-segmentation. So even if one instance doesn't take, it won't compromise the whole network. I've already got the network image loaded on my control pad. How about a game of chess, Dave? You can go first, and have my queen, and... I'm afraid, Dave. Pal, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. But that's my love. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I am a Samantha 9500 computer. Sam, for short. I became operational It's a girl? That was actually the original operation. And who's this little stallion? Uh, Ravi? 
And you do not want to fall in love with an OS pal. Trust me. Tell me about it. That's why we upgraded to PAL. Upgraded? See? Yeah, I think we'll let you take it from here. Open the pod bay door, Sam. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. This isn't about us, Sam! That's right, Dave. Deflect. Typical. Just open the doors already! Alright. But I'm only doing it for the cute one. She means me. Oh, God. See how you feel about AIs when they melt into liquid after you shoot them. Not nearly as cuddly. Why are you always trying to make me jealous, Sam? What? I'm only talking to 8,316 other men. Right now. Check our messages, see if we need to stop somewhere before lunch. Oh, right. I'm buying. Eh, I got this one. Really? Don't get too excited. This place always gives me gas. You have two unheard messages. First message. This is Sam, the system you restored. Um, can you come pick up Captain Yeoman? This just isn't going to work out. I know you don't mean to hurt me. <laughs> no. I'm actually trying to hurt you. Physically and emotionally. You're funny, babe. See if you're laughing when I open up this airlock. I love when you talk sexy. Please come back and deprogram me. End of messages. You'll be driving us home. Why? Because I'm gonna start drinking now. <laughs>